what people that it's all the stuff that people don't want to admit is what actually causes it. <laughs> It's so they they need, they need something to blame. Parents them. need something to blame that isn't basically themselves <laughs> failing to do be good parents. To be honest, <laughs> so they're like, "Yep, yeah, must be video games." <laughs> it can't be me. <laughs> yeah, you know, but if you're like you're blaming video games, <laughs> you're blaming video games on like failing grades because your kid would rather play video games than do their homework. Then that's reasonable. But, like, don't say that video games causes kids to go stupid. No. Like, that's just, that's just clickbait. Well, yeah, there, there is an issue of, you know, kids just wanting to play video games all the time and do, like, nothing else. But, like, that's not doesn't cause school shootings, though. Because all they want to do is play video games. <laughs> that's a completely... <laughs> a different a completely issue. Void like, it, like, if I want to go shoot a school, I'll do it in a video game instead. Right. I don't think I want to shoot a school, but if I ever did for some reason, I'd, I'd, I'd go to video games to do that. Because I'm not trying to get fucked over for the rest of my life. To find a coward's passage through the dim. I don't know if I event, if I finally lose my mind one day, maybe I would, but it wouldn't be because of the video games. That, that would be because I went fucking insane and lost all and lost all sense of what is and what is wrong. But no, they're gonna somehow trace it back to how my dad let me play Call of Duty when I was five years old. You know, it's funny, there's all, there's actually studies out there that show that playing video games once in a while is actually better than not. <laughs> and there, there's also studies that show, like, you know, a lot, especially some of those, like, really complicated games. <laughs> there's oh, been yeah. studies that show that those those type of games are actually really good. <laughs> Dude, I love puzzle, I love puzzle games. Like, especially puzzle games. Dude, I, I, I love puzzle games, they're so fun. I, I am a... Very mathematic and logical person, so I find stuff like that really fun. You're like, you know that stupid Brain Age game that came out in the DS? When I was like five, I would play that for fun. After that one, man, Jesus, that was hard. Oh, yeah, I never knew profile picture. I'm not sure how it looks. What do you guys think? And then you put one there. Damn, they sniped me off the leaderboards. No way, I'm getting back on the leaderboards. Fuck you, people. I don't get bitches. I'm, I'm the absolute chad that pushes them away because I don't know what to say. Because of my levels of anti-social idioticness. Because I'd rather be doing my math homework. Well, that would do it. <laughs>
However, unlike every other year, all right, so like every year, every every girl I've ever talked to, I stop talking to them over summer break. I'm gonna try and not do that this year. I get sniped, bitches. Now I'm back on the leaderboard. Look at that, number 41. Out of, out of the top 50. Yeah, it displays up the top 50. Man, I like bullying people on rhythm games. I like them, they're fun. You get to listen to music you like and you get to make your fingers go burr. And then you have an excuse to why you're slamming your keyboard so hard. And then it also impresses every single family member that comes across your existence for some reason. They're like... Sorcery like broken in that game or something I should play Dark Souls 3 on my PC. I've only ever played it on console. I don't. I, I've actually gone to a point in Dark Souls 3 like I'm actually pretty damn good to be honest. <laughs> I can clap through most of the bosses like first try now with quite a bit of ease to be honest. <laughs> <sighs> you know, I'm feeling good, I'll play algorithm. No, I don't wanna say that I'm like good. <laughs> but like I think I'm a little low, but I think I'm a pretty pretty okay. No, you suck. Okay. 
Well, time to redo the base. Words of Queen Marika, it is now that time. Who vanished long ago. If you wish, I will share them with you. Marika's own words. I assume that was Dylan by Dylan. The choice is thine. Become one with the order. Or divest thyself of it. Okay. To wallow at the yeah. fringes. A powerless upstart. God, I'm so glad I changed my typing technique. So much. Uh, just a picture of like, my, uh, one of my original characters. Just a portrait that I drew. Oh, it's like a little zoomed in. Oh, this is a good run so far. If I could keep this up. My inventory is full. You know, the hardest thing to explain to somebody about a rhythm game is that out of your entire arm, your hands are actually the most relaxed part. Despite the one them doing all the moving. Because you're offloading all the strain to your forearms and biceps. Well, some people just don't understand that. I have been waiting for this for a long time. Quite a while, actually. We finally have gotten to that point. Now. Uh, so we gotta break all this shit down and remodel the base to make things more efficient. What game are you playing right now, Dylan? Not Dylan, Sean. God damn it, Factorio. why did I call you Dylan? I'm playing Factorio. Ugh. I've seen some people play that on my friend list before. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I can wow. tell the difference between Sean and Dylan's voice, it, but it's just they 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 speak in like the same pitch, if that makes sense. But when they talk, they have like a different tone. No, it's more the the serious slash I'm better than you 24/7 tone, and you'll never be better than me, lol. <laughs> I'm more of the I don't really care. <laughs> yeah. Like you're better than me. I don't. Oh my God! I almost died to my own brain. <laughs> No. no, what even is Factorio about? I've seen some people in my friend list uh, play it, but I have no clue what it's about. Uh, basically, you, you can, you, you have to, like, uh, use, eventually get automation to make all the, 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 eventually in the game, the overall goal is to eventually build a ship so you can escape from the planet you have crash landed it on. That is home oh. to hostile bugs. And the, the main core mechanic is... A lot of the stuff you make creates pollution, and the pollution will anger the bugs, <laughs> and then they'll start to come after you. 
and then so so it's kind of you you have to sort of defend yourself as well as eventually pro progress to eventually being able to craft the uh, the rocket ship to get off to end the game <sighs> and uh it can get really fun. complicated <laughs> sounds kind of fun though no It, for for the for the type of people who aren't really into like stuff that you need to actually put more than like two and a half brain cells into, it's probably not for you. <laughs> if you're I one really of those like people who does I really like logic yeah, stuff. I, and yeah, I think you, you Jeddo, could probably not get swayed because <laughs> you actually seem to actually put brain cells in them. <laughs> I mean, you know, I would talk during the raid, but I feel like if I say something ends up wrong, I'm going to look like an idiot. <laughs> so I just let, every, so I'm just letting everyone else do the talking. So like if somebody repeats my idea later down the line, I'm just, I just think to myself, man, so I was right. I should have said that every time. <laughs> But it's just my personality, I can't change it. I mean, I could change it, but... I don't know. I like being... I like being the silent one. Although, if I, if, if you, like, engage me in a topic that I'm actually, like, really curious and passionate about, like, computer science, then I could talk for hours. And how much I hate Python and Matthew because he won't use dot lower in his programs. God damn it, man! Attacked over there. Oh, I'm gonna have to go fucking place more turrets over there. Ugh. We started getting attacked in a direction that I had not anticipated that we would even get attacked. <laughs> Doesn't make fucking sense. I can hit these 300 BPM jacks, but I can't hit these 280 jacks. Fucking brain. Somebody's. Wait, I wait, I could fucking pass this way. What? Okay. I got a lot of the main important stuff.
there's some. Oh, she has dropped a bunch. You know, I wonder if I would doing like Guitar Hero or Rock Band, like how it would how my uh, skill in here would translate over to a guitar, where you use one hand to tap instead of two hands. Aren't there like giant, just like giant rodents in yes. Elden Ring? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because my friend kept screaming about how there were giant bats trying to eat his ass. I've come to suck your dick. I mean blood, blood. <laughs> I hit that. Nope. The last one. Oh. Well. Um. Okay. So. Um. I'm thinking. That should fill these up. And oh boy, we got a lot of them. <laughs> uh, this is going to take many, many rounds to go around the bat to fill that up all the time. is me off sometimes. There's people who are like shit at the game compared to me getting passes on harder maps because they can just mash. And then they're like, why is my count accuracy so bad? Why, why is this thing so bad when I just mash? <laughs> why? Well, impossible. <laughs> no way. But you have an 82% pass on Gal- 82% pass on Galaxy Flaps. Yeah, you're actually gonna go to shit, bro. It's almost like if you just fucking spam. You're, you're not gonna get anywhere. <laughs> like, why? No way. It's almost like that in like 90% of the games people play. Mashing is not the way to go. <laughs> Only game where mashing is acceptable, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> there was actually... Like... 
my my friend who like wasn't even bad at uh who wasn't even that bad at uh what they call mortal combat i beat him literally by just use i don't even remember what i did i used scorpion and i just kept doing the two same moves over and over again and he just kept getting him for no reason there, there's part of like our friend group and stuff that likes uh, playing Smash, <laughs> and it's so funny when they they play those type of games. Just you can win by just mashing buttons, but that only goes so far, especially when you're fa facing off against like players who actually know how to play the game. <laughs> yeah, I mean you might get a round or two on them because they weren't expecting it, but then like it's easy. It ends up becoming quite an easy counter for them. shouldn't be playing a map unless if you know you can at least get a 90% on it. Because if you can't uh -oh. rank it, then why are you playing the map? Oh, uh, that's right. Actually, before I do this, I should probably go take care of that area over there where enemies actually attack. Oh, new best score for this one. There's only a 92.5%, but I'll take it. How much PP was that? 191 plus 4. Fortnite? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, dude. I thought you said Fortnite. I was about to cringe. You know, my dad actually started playing a bunch of Fortnite. Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> he hadn't played the game since like season 6, and he's having fun with it. My dad plays Call of Duty, Fortnite again, and he's going to start playing Destiny 2 again. Yeah, he put me and my dad played on like Destiny 2's release. He also my dad also played the hell out of Destiny 1. 40. I said this earlier. Yeah. My dad had me when it was like 22, 23. Couple more there. Gotta, can't believe I have to come down here and play some more. I have to come down here and play some fucking more turrets. <laughs> I mean, my parents had me right after my mom got out of trade school. Well, not right after, like, you know, she worked for a while. And then I had me, like, a year and a half or two. There was supposed to be one before me, but mm, things didn't go out right. I don't know. I don't know how pregnancy works. Despite taking health class. Well, I know I know how like the reproductive system works. I just don't know like. The malfunctions that can happen during those nine months. Not that. Like with the with the child, with the unborn child. I meant like them dying, or like things that can lead them to dying. We don't have. Mm. I think Jedo's talking about an unborn baby. <laughs> yes. Because uh, I, 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 I almost died. You don't have to like, feed. For like an unborn baby, you, you don't really feed the baby directly. You eat and then it. You eat and then it goes.
the other thing could just be just your personal health problems. You, you know, you know, there's there's people in the world who no matter how hard they try can't have babies. So like there there's all sorts of different health issues could, that could lead to all sorts of different complications with birth and stuff like that. I mean, there's literally people in the world who the only way they can have a kid is an adoption. And no matter how hard they try, they can't actually have a kid of their own. Uh, so, there's all sorts of, yeah, there's all sorts of different complications. <laughs> like, I currently almost suffocated. Before I was born. And then the doctor accidentally poked me in the eye. So I was born with a black eye. <laughs> So oh, Dr. Zoo, what's this poke? <laughs> oh wait, that's the eye. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have poked that very hard. <laughs> and then I was like, well, uh, since I was born a month, I was born a month early. I was like, like five pounds. I was supposed to be born on the 4th of July, which would have been weird having my birthday on a holiday. I was but born actually like quite early. Then earlier, much earlier than I was supposed to. That's why uh, I actually, our parents waited to put us through um, school a year late, but they, they held us back a year before they put us through and uh, started putting us through school because we were born early. Sure. That was why when we were at elementary school, we were like a fucking college kid in school because we were a year older than almost everybody in our class. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Dylan and I might very well be the oldest two kids in our class. <laughs> I'm on the younger side of my entire class. I'm not the youngest. Some kid moved from England moved. Oh, funny story, actually. We're really good. I was really good friends with him, but when he was touring the school, I accidentally shot hand sanitizer into his eye. <laughs> yes, this was back in elementary school. And I, I was like... Trying to get the hand sanitizer out. Uh, I was going into it. So, this kid, Aiden, he was just touring the school, seeing if, like, his parents wanted to go here. And I was, like, trying, because, like, I got something on my hands. I was trying to get hand sanitizer. I was like, why isn't it coming out? So I just start slamming the bottle, like, the dispenser. Like, I'm, I'm... I'm trigger fingering this thing so hard, like my 15 CPS doesn't even compare. And then all of a sudden, something comes out of the hand sanitizer bottle. It's not in my hand, it's in this kid's eye and he's like freaking out. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm gonna get suspended. A week later, we're best friends. <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure of all the people in my class, I'm the only one who's actually of age to legally drink alcohol. That being yeah. said, like, let's be honest, every, every fucking 80% of them probably have all drink. Hell, I drank, drank my first alcohol before I was 21, so... I mean, like, but I'm the only one who can legally drink last year. and not get in trouble for it. What are you, a sophomore freshman in college? Mm, sophomore. I yeah, sophomore. Yeah, sophomore. <clears throat> Forgot if last year happened or not. Yeah. <laughs> Real quick. My sophomore year didn't happen for high school, dude. Depending on circumstances, no. can't you get college degrees while you're still in high school? Oh. If you're taking like all college classes every year. Yeah, I got to very specific circumstances, but like you have to be like the smartest kid in school. Because <laughs> that oh, means yeah, you have Christian Kim. That, 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 like in order to do that, eight. that means you have to like skip classes. You have to take those tests and just skip over a bunch of classes. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I have a friend named Christian who was taking, a, like, AP Calculus AB his fucking freshman year. And then took BC the next year. Dude's going to fucking Harvard, I swear. Like, he's, like, his... Like, dude's too smart. 
in terms of like school. He's too smart. Like he he belongs in fucking Harvard. Like who who takes normal calculus in eighth grade? <laughs> yeah, that's where you take a gouge on pre algebra. Dude was doing fucking calculus his eighth grade year. Loud noises. What do we need that for anyways? I don't even remember. Oh. Okay. Shit, oh, I wait. I should probably reconnect that so that we don't fucking get attacked. <laughs> Holy shit, I crushed my old score by a whole 3% accuracy. God damn. There we go. <laughs> I keep forgetting that this shit actually needs to be connected. <laughs> Yeah, that and this map's a mess. I was playing Osu way before I played Destiny. I just I just improved fast in shooter games. Like literally, uh Valorant. Like Nexi been playing for like years. My friend Will was playing for like I don't know, almost a year. Don't know how long Sam was playing for, but like my first day playing Valorant, they were like, "Holy shit, this guy's already better than all of us." Nexi, like what? And then when we went to an Olim Max, I I was getting Nexi pissed off because he just couldn't. He just kept getting shit on. Couldn't be. <laughs> Okay, you fucking shit on. <laughs> I almost feel bad because all he wants to do is be better than me at one game that isn't Yu Gi Oh! No. His only chance was a Dofi, and he quit a Dofi. Fortnite, I literally taught Caden how to play fucking Fortnite, pretty much, or how to be good. Thank you. Destiny, I can't think of a time that Caden was even close to me in Destiny. Because every time I actually try on him, he I get like I I can't count the number of times that when I go try hard on him, I get a wee run on him. <laughs> And, and then he says, and then he makes some excuse, like, I'm, I'm playing off today, guys. Like, we were doing 2v2s with Matt. I, it was me and, it was me and my friend, you know, who was a console player not really good at PvP. And then it was Matt and Caden, and I was just messing around using, like, 200 RPM scout rifles for fun. And then I realized, Gino's getting really quiet, doesn't sound like he's having fun, so I put on, I put on a shotgun, I put on a hand cannon, and I Like, I, like, it was mean, but man, I couldn't let my boy Gina have a bad time. Threw on that shotgun, threw on that hand cannon, threw on Icarus Dash. The absolute out minimum out of that you could possibly throw on to run him over. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like, run. I think it was like 20 to 4. Because of that. Oh, remember when... We did those like matches against Dylan, and we, and we, we beat Dylan within a two v 
we beat Dylan in a three v two, so it's like it's all good. It's all good. You're just... And then we two v three. I can't believe we won that. And then I lost when it was me and Dylan versus you guys. Well, no, because I I think after that match I think I, I think I I dipped down after that match. Oh, yeah. No, but like it was me and Dylan versus whoever was still there, and we lost. You're telling me you lost up the one in the Hobbit Brothers? Yeah, we fucking lost. Because, <laughs> like, I, I was just flying him with a shotgun, and I have no idea what the heck Dylan was doing. But, like, man. Man, I, I feel like I'm better at PvP than Dylan thinks I am. Like, yeah, I mess around in private matches, but it's not how I play them in actual match. When we play trials together, we slap. It's like, if I was shit, I wouldn't be able to do so good with you in trials. Now see, when you throw Nexi into the equation of me and Dylan, you look at the leaderboards at the end, it's me and Dylan, and then Nexi with like two kills. And then he's still gonna somehow think I'm the problem. I was a I I was a top I was a top five thousand fort or three thousand Fortnite player when I was thirteen. I I have I am not top three thousand anymore, I can tell you that. But I've played in many competitions. Controller player as well. Yeah. I was also a controller player on console. Down, down, boy. Controller player. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't tell you the amount of times. I cannot tell you the amount of times people say I'm only good because of aim assist. It was fucking funny. Like I'd go into one v ones because I, I I kept my record. I think my re can I do I have my record written down somewhere still? Let me check. Or did I take it out of there? Like the, those people oh, who just, no. they don't want to accept that they're worse. So they're, their go-to thing is- Oh, I took it out. But I was like, in they're terms of 1v1 build good. fights, in terms of 1v1 build fights, I was 387 in two, that was my record. I'd argue that it's easier to build on on a keyboard and mouse. I don't know. I don't fucking know anything about Fortnite, so I had no fucking idea. Oh yeah, and it's way easier to edit on keyboard and mouse that too. The only thing I quote had going for me was my was aim assist. I and, played and... Fort I actually did play Fortnite. The only reason I played Fortnite is because one of our friend Trajan had nobody to play with. I, I was, you know, it was just me trying to be a good, I was just being a good friend. I wasn't playing because I actually wanted to play fucking Fortnite. <laughs> it's just he had no one to play with, so I was like, I'll play with you, my guy. <laughs> uh -oh. It was just like one of those, it's just like, I just try to be a good friend, man. <laughs> I, I could have cared less about actually, you know, playing with Fortnite. <laughs> like, I don't like Fortnite anyway, so. <laughs> All right. The the only I played a lot of Fortnite and the only I liked it, but then as soon as I got like into it competitively, it was like season eight, the first time I quali I qualified for the Xbox Cup Finals, at the which at the time was like, hey, that's pretty good. You needed to be like a top one thousand Xbox player or something to qualify into those. And I was like, dang man, I'm actually good at this game. And then later on, I. In school, I even got started getting known for being the potential best Fortnite player, even though Adam was, I, a, not Aquam Adam, like a kid named Adam at my school was better than me. People still considered me potentially the best. But in terms of comp, I was better than Adam. 
You see, I wasn't a flashy player. I wasn't a flashy player at all. So it made me look like I was shit. Like, Nexi looked like a better Fortnite player than me. But if you put me against him, he would get shown every time. The amount of times I 5 would him, it was... I, I can't even count. Nexi looked like the better player, but I was the better player by a, a very, very large margin. I just did I just didn't look good at the game because my clips were taken in like 15 FPS on Xbox and uh, When I finally did get a capture card, I only got like three clips of it <laughs> Because I quit for not long after getting it So I only got like three good looking clips and I was a smooth player on top of that, so it's not like I had super flicky, cool-looking stuff. My my screen just looked smooth because I, because I had a low sensitivity. Stormy. What's the point of the weather outside? I'm like, it's super windy here. What? What? It's really warm and super windy. Oh, Sounds like, oh yeah, it's raining. That, that could possibly be thunder in the distance. It didn't sound really loud, so listen. So, like, is it? It might be, because it does. They just rain here. We'll go this way. Um, finalize some some of the defenses. Man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to reach top ten thousand by the end of the year, man. No, mania. I don't play Fortnite anymore. I haven't played in years. My keep in mind that was my peak. Towards the time of me quitting, I dropped down to like top 7,000. I think, actually, I think I remember exactly 7,230 something. Because, um, the only person better than me, which was my competitive duo partner, left. And it all just went downhill from there for duos, which, and solos. I stopped participating in like solo events. So, so when I quit, I was only on like the top half of the 7,000 range. But I want to get top 10,000 on Osu Mania. I'm number 22,000 right now, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit it by the end of the year. Because of how much higher and higher I need my plays to get. And how little I'm playing compared to how it used to. The fucking tree sentinel ass guy. <laughs> um, is there more than one of those guys? <laughs> the... um, you can check my hoodie out. Do they all ride horses? <laughs> They all fucking nice. I like to take my hoodies off. This feels really weird to not have a hoodie on me, though. Yeah, I might shower at. Because I really don't want to get off of it. I'm addicted to Oopsie. That. This. This whole side of our base should now be secure. You know, like, people who, like, fucking discriminate because some people main rhythm games, they're like, why don't you play a real game? Like, who cares? <laughs> it's like, My what makes it cares? not a real game? Like, I'm sorry, you, you main Call of Duty, why don't you go play a real shooter game? 
Yeah. Like, what the fuck does that mean? <clears throat> like... Yeah, honestly, yeah, what what does that even fucking mean? <laughs> what makes a rhythm game not a game? It literally has game in the genre title. Like, if you look at, like, shoot, like, they're, they go under the title shooters, so technically they're not a game, so why don't you go play a rhythm game? But like what the hell? What the hell do I super spawn to when people say go play a real game? If I'm playing a rhythm game. <laughs> you know what? I'm put. I'm putting the hoodie back in. It's. so annoying, man. Like, literally the clothes you're wearing can affect how you play a fucking rhythm game. Where the hell did the ear go? Oh, no. I see the No, I just wear hoodies all the time, so it's weird for me to... It feels weird to not wear one. I do have a... The, the only accessory that I have is my drawing glove for when I'm drawing, so that my hand can glide across my tablet easier. But that's about it, and that's for an actual reason. It's not like I have it because it looks cool or something, I don't know. I don't know why people think a drawing glove would look cool, but eh. You never know, there's some people like that. wonder how I'd do on this map. Let's put that right here. I think this might actually be enough to cover the entire... I think that might actually be enough to cover this entire... Yeah, yeah, it's enough to cover the entire wall. This is not needed here. You can probably place like one here. Yo, please, you can also place that. A tarnished would one day become Elden Lord and restore um, I'm gonna... the Golden Oh shit! Order. Why did that have so many fucking characters? Surely <laughs> you see it too. The gold as it shrouds the heavens. The great tree which begets the pillars of light. Oh, tarnished. Hasten to the foot of the tree. Well, no rings in no ring. And whatever you might face, the fingers will surely guide you.
and then there. Is that like up there? Do you guys have like a a leg positioning that you prefer to play in when playing video games? Does that make sense? When I'm playing... Oh yeah, without a doubt, I was like, fuck. I, I would slouch so hard. But uh, when, I, when I play rhythm games, I cross my legs and put them under my chair. I don't know why. But, but the thing is, it's only with rhythm games. Like, I cross my legs and just put them underneath my chair. I don't know why. No, like, if, if my legs aren't crossed underneath my chair, I can't play. It doesn't make sense. Like, if I, here, if, like, if I take my legs and set them out flat on the floor like this, I will literally get worse at the game. It doesn't make sense. I usually uh, relax my legs, so I, I'll cross them like my the front of my ankle around my heel, and then just set my legs back under my chair and just let them sit there and come, forget that they exist. And then as soon as I like put tension back into my legs, my brain gets like confused. <laughs> 